Our next question comes from Jeremy Edmonds. Uh, he's a sophomore here studying political science, and this will be towards uh, Dr. Eichenbaum. Uh, there's been more and more talk lately about auditing the Federal Reserve. Uh, would you support such action, and do you feel that a change from central economic planning and uh, fiat currency is needed? One of my favorite subjects, because the Federal Reserve needs to be not only audited, needs to be ended. Three very bad things for our country happened in 1913. The 16th Amendment, the 17th Amendment, and the Federal Reserve. Sort of a triple whammy for the progressives and a triple whammy for conservatives in the negative sense. What happened with the Federal Reserve was that for 200 years or 150 years, our economy was local. People locally, if they need money, they'd go to their local merchants or their local bank, they get money to be able to uh, do their business or plant their seeds and get their crops. Well, some very rich bankers in New York were not very happy about the fact that they didn't get their fair share. And that's where the Federal Reserve came from. They snuck down to Jekyll Island in the dark of night. They passed this bill and forced it upon us uh, on Christmas Eve in uh, 1913 when only a few people were in Congress. And now we're saddled with the Federal Reserve, which is what allows the government to print, borrow, and spend money without it being backed by any hard currency. It's obscene and it's a crime, and the Federal Reserve needs to be ended. It needs to be audited. I'm afraid when they audit it, they're going to find out a lot of very bad things. And so I am in favor of auditing the Federal Reserve and ending the Federal Reserve. Getting back to a currency backed by, backed by, uh, <laughs> backed by, uh, by, by gold or silver will be very, very difficult. The way to do it is to drastically reduce government spending now to raise the government revenues through tax cuts and, and letting business do what it needs to do. Only when we get our financial house in order can do we have any hope of going back to gold or silver-based currency. Thank you. Mr. Krause? The Federal Reserve Board, the members of this board, are appointed by the President. And by law, they have to report to Congress. And as a congressman, I would hold their feet to the fire. I want to know why, for long periods of time, they held interest rates down. And that was basically some of the cause of this, this crisis we're in. We had have, we have, we have cheap credit, easy credit. The banks would loan money to anybody. They just took a pulse, okay? And we're paying for it. We have a lot of foreclosures. And I think you can trace our economic, a lot of our economic problems today to the, federal, the policy of the Federal Reserve. Um, many years ago, Greenspan. Now we have a different uh, director, um, and I would, now, I, I think I agree with, with, with Dr. Dan here that we need to um, eliminate the Federal Reserve. I, I see no purpose. Um, but for, until we get rid of it, we need to hold our feet to the fire, have audits, as this gentleman suggested, and basically you can do it with a hearing, hearing process. But, you know, if the Republicans don't get a majority, the Congress will never have it. Nancy Pelosi is a speaker. We'll never have it. Thank you, sir. Mr. Stump? I think uh, as far as getting rid of the Fed, I think that would be uh, you know, pretty ambitious, at least at this point, but uh, certainly might be a, a worthwhile goal down the road if we have mechan mechanisms in place uh, you know, to pick up the slack there. Certainly, I don't think that... Uh, uh, we're going to do any worse than what has happened. Uh, as Ed had mentioned, you know, uh, Greenspan was in there so long, there, there was almost a sense of uh, arrogancy that they could kind of do what they wanted to do. And, and uh, I, for one, really was kind of hoping that Bernanke was not going to get reappointed. I'm just not really overly impressed. I think that there needs to be transparency. I think they need to know exactly what's going on. And uh, I would be absolutely in favor for uh, an audit for the Fed. And as far as going back to the gold standard, you know, back when Nixon, uh, you know, kind of went totally away from that back in, in the 70s, 
Um, yeah, I, I believe, you know, as Dr. Dan had said, I mean, I think it's going to take a lot of, uh, I think we've got a lot of, a uh, long way to go, I guess is what I'm trying to say, a lot of wood to chop before we get to that point. Um, and I don't know if, uh, I mean, I may be eventually, but, uh, you know, we can only, only hope. Thank you. Mr. West? Well, this, and I'll, I'll agree with most of y'all up here. I will say this, the Federal Reserve, it does need to be audited. There are things going on right now with the Federal Reserve that has never happened before in this economy. One of them is called the stymie effect, and all that means is this, Chase Manhattan loaned loan money to AIG. They didn't have enough money in the Federal Reserve account, so the Federal Reserve went, over, went in there and they added zeros to their account. There was no money. They made money out of, out of thin air. That's exactly how they did it. They turned around and loaned it to, gave it to Chase to turn around and loan to AIG. AIG is fixing to pay back with real dollars. Now, what did that do to us? It devalued our currency. So the reason that they don't want to be audited right now is because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on with this economy. There's no way that this dollar can stand and these interest rates and this inflation can stay where it is with the interest rates the way they are right now. It just can't happen. So I'll agree with these guys, but before we can do anything on this Federal Reserve, because I think the people that originally got this started, were, they had good things in mind, but unfortunately bad things got happened with it. So yes, that's all of it. Thank you very much. On this next